Hey, what's going on guys? Matt back here with another tutorial and today we're going to be looking at arrays. So if I open up my script, so what I've got is an import systems collections generic and that's just if you're going to be using a game object list. And you want to be using a list for game objects instead of an array because you can actually access all the data that way. Otherwise you want to just be using a normal array which is just a variable but with two square brackets at the end of the whatever you want, so integer or texture or whatever. And then other than that, you're fine. But with the with the game object, you want to have the it equals list dot game object inside the angled brackets, and then further on down, I've just got this little setup just to show you what it does. So, if we have our number as integer, and then I've just got in the start function, it then becomes a random number between zero and three, and then on GUI, it's going to just show us for to start with, we're just going to have it as the integer. So we've got the numbers array number. So the random item would be a point within within the array between zero and three, and then it will be one of those within there. And we set that in a minute. So I'll set, well, actually I'll set it right now. So we'll go into our game object, open the arrays script that I've got attached to it, and I've changed these from zero to three, all of the sizes, and I've given them three different items. So the integers got one, then two, then three. The textures have got three random textures and the objects have just got three random prefabs that I've got inside my project folder here and then obviously the numbers variables down there as well so if I hit play what it's going to do is create a random number there and then it will pull up a number so because our random number was one it's going to give us element one which is the number of two and it's given us two right in the middle there and obviously with a texture I can just show you that it's going to do the same and you call that you call the texture exactly the same so that's going to call a random texture every time and then if i go back and do the game object what i've done is i've chosen game object dot name so it's only going to show the name of the object so this one's going to show helm of the eagle and then we've got helm of the bear and whatever but obviously you can you can instantiate the object that way as well just by not having dot name at the end you would just have instantiate that um, I hope that's useful, and I will see you in the next tutorial.